Time to get juiced. Hey, audience. So we are going to play a game. It's called Hot Seat. Um, we're going to have three questions on the board. We're going to use the Wheel of Destiny. And you guys can play along at home if you ever see, if you ever see so fit. Um, we are first going to spin to see who's going to go first. Um, it'll be Kane or Mitch. And then we're going to spin second on the questions. We have three questions. They are based on societal topics. That's our, our theme today, societal topics. Um, where you see actionable in the question, it cannot be supernatural and it cannot be past tense. So you have to identify something that is that's something that you can do moving forward. We um, we really want you to play at home. So if you get the question, pause the video, put your comments in the chat, timestamp the chat, and then everyone will know that you're playing along at home. Um, but we're gonna get started. Family, I already know what it's going to. It's going to Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's a setup, y'all. It's okay. Let's go, fam. Man, what, what, I wanted it. You know, it was right there. Okay, well, go ahead. Name one mistake of modern society that grinds your gears and how to fix it. Okay. Look, this is a big issue right here. Okay. Uh, family congregation, we got to be real, uncomfortable truth. And uh, one thing I will have to say is I'm against, okay, talking about me, not Kane, but uh, one thing, uh, the political correctness in this aspect, okay? I feel as though biological men mm -hmm. should not be playing sports with um, biological females, okay? It, it grinds my gears on that, okay? Um, now, I'm an advocate for women's sports and just allowing men after they done did a year uh, of – testosterone replacement, whatever they have to go through, but then allowing them to come into that arena right now. I just don't believe that's a good uh, deal for anybody. Okay. Scholarships, all of that can be taken away from uh, the lady. So that really bothers me. And I think we need to be better than that. So that's being real as real can be. Okay. Is that too much? You say, wait until the little hormone therapy takes place, and then they can go ahead and jump right in. Is that what you say? And, and thank you. So I can just jump on <laughs> in on this. Okay, I, I, I see. No, no, I'm just going by what you he just said. asked a question. No, no, don't you do that. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, I guess okay. I, you know. I guess we gotta take a turn now. There ain't no cutting us off, no, right? I need to write this <laughs> stuff down. Uh, He's not gonna do me like that. Let's go. But look, but look. Yeah, my time's ticking and whatever. But yeah, yeah. That if you wanna go with that mistake uh, that grinds your gears, I get it. Um, if they're gonna, you know what? If if they're gonna switch over and be a transgender, whoever this male is, because it's normally the males changing the female, right? Right. If they're gonna do that. Well, have, let them have their own category. I say let them have their own category, transgender basketball, transgender whatever, right? If enough of them, you know, uh, trans and transition, then they can have their own little sport. So they go against each other. They shouldn't be out there swimming with them, running with them, you know, playing soccer against them, none of that stuff, man. And I, I've seen this in uh, recently because I always would say, I was like, why do women are not standing up for this? Man, they trying to take over every little thing that they got. You know what I mean? Got their yes. own little sports. They have their own category. They playing against each other, which is fair. I would say that that's fair versus some guy that's transitioned. Yes. That wants to come in and then 
uh, dominate their sport and get all these records. The records shouldn't even exist, not in that aspect. They shouldn't even have that opportunity to break any record. Any record at all have their own category. That's what I say. But you saying let let it kick in a little bit, let the medicine kick in, and then um, they can go ahead and jump in. Is that what you're saying? Go ahead. That's three. My time is up. Two, I yield my time. One, <laughs> zero. Okay, thank you. I was waiting. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> let me get back on it. Family and congregation, you know, we haven't recorded in a while, so I got to get used to his tactics, okay? And I did not say uh, for them to wait. I said it makes no sense about it. I don't care if they have to be on that replacement for a year. It should not happen. That's what I said. But you kind of did the Canaanite thing, the Canaanite thing that's very conservative of you, uh, and flip my words around, sir. So that's it. Okay. My mistake. Maybe I was, I was, I might mm-hmm. have messed that up. So, you know, I, I'll take that. I'll take it. And for the Canaanites, that's facts, not feelings. It's checkmate <laughs> time today. Okay. It's not time to play. Okay. Well, what, are you, what, what do you, what do you feel about uh, having their own little category? How you oh, I, I could agree for that. I, I, I yeah. would be in support of that. They can yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah, they can yeah, do. Have that. your own. Have your own little setup. Your own category. Y'all will start making records. But start but Kane, setting the set, setting the bar. Start doing that. But Kane, uh, can you ask? You said one thing that was kind of that was significant. Um, you said it's usually the guys that go over to the female yeah. sport. So why hasn't it been the ladies transitioning, going over to the male sport? What do you think? You know, well, well, you you know it's the, it's the genetics. I don't mm-hmm. care how much te- testosterone they take, they cannot be in the ring with a a a, a, a male. They can't do that. You know they, they can do it, but yeah. you've seen some of them get knocked out. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's why I'm like, nah, they don't even want that smoke. They don't even want to come over and do that and compete. Just think about if it was a woman transition to a guy and then wants to do track and field. Do you think she has a chance? She can't take anything but her little hormone therapy because she can't take anything else to make her faster because right, it's right. illegal. It's illegal because right. nobody else can do any uh, performance enhancements, drugs. What do you do? You see what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. it's, it's more so the it's more so the guys is trying to take over and take over the the restrooms, the locker rooms, take over all that, man. I'm I'm. It's been a few women out there that kind of standing up and and saying it, and I think it's their lane to 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 say something. Yes, yes, and um, I I keep concentrating on this time that's going down. But I will say this, and uh, because we'll go to another topic. But Mm -hmm. if you see uh, in the YouTube streets and everything, uh, comedian uh, Jess Hilarious had had a little uh, back and forth with a transgender, and uh, she said some real things, you know, uh, about women and. Everything she said was fact based. Uh, yeah. Women do menstruate. No, nobody yeah. else does. Okay, yeah. so yeah. we can't. When I think this, and I say this, when you lie to yourself, you cannot succeed. Okay, you are already on a path of destruction and damnation. Because if you're my friend, Kane, you're gonna tell me, "Hey, Mitch, man, you know that ain't right, man." Yeah. If I'm sitting in the mirror. Yeah lying to myself how can i prosper how can i go forward okay mm-hmm. you, you can't do it so let's go let's let's yeah. get on that yeah uh, next question yeah let's do it let's do it let's see who who goes next that's Hopefully. mitch that's mitch one kane zero okay <laughs> <laughs> What are actionable ways to break the generational curse of self-loathing? This loathing, yeah. Yeah, we got people that's out there that are just riding the system, right? Mm-hmm. Riding whatever system, getting whatever kind of money they can and sitting, you know, and then they teaching their kids the same exact thing. Yeah. I think accountability, account holding people accountable. Don't Don't keep these same systems going because... You got to be able to have a, a end point. If you don't have an end point to a system, and we can just say it's um, food stamps. If you don't have um, an end to it, then it's going to continue and people are going to abuse it. 
whenever you give something to someone and they don't work for it, they don't appreciate it. They may say, man, thank you. I appreciate it. I pre but do they really appreciate it? Does it does it spike something in them to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go out and go get this myself. Does it? I know if I was given something, I'd be like, dang, man, I don't have to work now. I got it now. You know what I mean? That's how I would feel when it comes to, uh, you know, um, dealing with that. You know what I mean? Like, I, the, in, in order to get people off the couch, off the block, because nobody's working, everybody's collecting a check, or they're doing the easy way, which mm -hmm. is through, you know, illegal activity, drugs, or guns, or whatever they're selling. You know what I mean? Um, you know, switch that up. I mean, you, you're selling all this stuff. You, you're trying to be an entrepreneur, but in a negative way. How about you use that same skill that you're using to sell them drugs, to sell them guns, to sell those perks, whatever you're doing. Switch it around. Think about looking at into a business. If you got that business mindset and you got people that's on your staff, mm -hmm. switch it around and do something good. Do something positive. That's what I would do, uh, um, you know, especially all the, the people that are out there that's doing those uh, deeds that, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, from prostitution to everything, you know, when they're out there doing these things that are illegal to get a quick buck, put some effort. I mean, you will really appreciate it. You won't have to look over your back and trying to, you know, uh, dodge the cops or, you know, being, you know, thinking everybody's sketchy and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I feel like that, that, you know, in order for these, for these people that are just sitting around and is not doing anything, they're going to definitely need to be held accountable. Let the government do it to them. Say, Hey, no, you can't have it anymore. What you going to do now? Don't in the legal way is not the right way. I mean, that's the easy way, easy money, but it's not the right way. So I can do what I can do is in my small, you know, uh, circle, whatever. I can just emulate what right looks like mm. and go with that. What What do you think? Well, uh, don't start my two minutes because he talked for at least one minute before you start. <laughs> uh, editor, I just want to point that out. I'm watching everything today. Okay, <laughs> It's truth telling time today. But uh, you said a couple of uh, good things. Um, a couple of things I, I, I challenge you on. So, and this will be you, the Canaanite spirit got into me. So, Cain, are you saying you're against the assistance, though? You brought up food stamps, okay? Uh, are you saying you're against it? The help? Well, well, we have to have something in place for those who are already in that predicament. But we have to get there, change their mindset. Okay, well, okay. Thank you for that political answer. So that is a yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on everything you say today. Okay, I just Go want ahead, you to listen. Know that. Listen closely. Yeah, listen yes. Closely. Uh, so, yeah. and I'm I'm glad you said that. Um, I'm gonna say this before doing our podcast. Back years ago, I think it was uh, President Clinton when uh, he was cutting. I think he cut food stamps, and I thought it was gonna be the end of, for a lot of families and and people. But it wasn't. So I'm for, you know, the assistance. And then, hey, we doing it. You started you on this program. It's 2023. Okay. I don't know how many months or if it's going to take a year, but it's going to cut off. It's going to dwindle down. So I'm for the assistance for people and then it slowly dwindles down and it slowly goes away because uh i'm with you on that we have to get some fire in our in our person to want to get better to want to be that example that you're talking about because usually people have families they don't plan them out they have families they get on hard times or not prepared now they own food stamps or assistance. But if I see two person family, two parent family, mama going to work, daddy going to work, it's still love in that house. 
that's an example. We're here, we're doing this, but then, hey, we're not on assistance anymore. I got a question for you, bro. Okay, go. So, if you were down, yes, hard luck. I'm talking about Mitch now. I'm just talking about Mitch. If you were down, yes, down to your luck. Hey, look, I lost my job. I don't know how I'm gonna do this or whatever. Would you go stand in the line for food stamps and go ahead and try to get your son? And if 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 if, if so, you know why? And if not, why? Well, okay. Um... At this point in time in my life, I would try every avenue if I didn't have a job. Now, the people, congregation, family, y'all know about a hustle. And I'm not talking about it illegal. Because when I uh, retired and everything, um, I started cutting grass. I got on lawn service. I found out I loved it. It's so many ways that you can make money. Now, I'm not talking about money to buy houses and all that stuff. Now, if, and to answer your question. Uh, yeah, I was say, you can't your, question, I, me. your spirit, the <laughs> Canaanite spirit got into me. I was like, yeah. Forgive me. Forgive me, family, okay? I did do a political I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting yeah. for it, nephew. I'm so like, man, come if, on, if politician, Mitch. I couldn't, see on. My, I couldn't see myself doing it. But mm. if I had no other option, I lost my job. I didn't have anything else that's, that's why i just gave you that scenario i would I, I i would get in the line to yeah if i needed it if i didn't have no support from anybody mm -hmm. that is what our government is here for okay we're in the united states of america okay. okay okay if i needed to i would utilize it would i stay on it by no means why I not why why would i why what why would i want to stay on government assistance. That's not what it's for. Well, you don't have it's for well, listen, assistance listen. at that time. I get it. I get it. Yes. If you're if you are getting this assistance, yes. Meaning, let's say they give you five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars every month. You ain't got used to that five hundred dollars every month. So why wouldn't you just stay on it so you don't have to offset it with putting in hours at whatever job, even if it is cutting grass? I don't have to do that many hours. For that five hundred dollars anymore? Why don't I stay on it and, and do it that way? Because I, if I cut grass, that ain't you know. If you're not part of, if you're just doing it like a hustle, and you know the government doesn't know, you just right. got enough. To, you just got enough for you to do your thing, right? Right, right, right. And shut up. Yeah, shut you, up. you you ain't doing taxes on it. You ain't doing now. If you work mm -hmm. for the lawn care business and they yes. doing it the right way, and you getting paid a salary, not salary, but uh, you pay, you get your hourly wage or whatever, that's different. Right, right. But you're saying go get a hustle, don't pay taxes, and then I, sit, get who on. Who said that? Who said that? You need to stop that again, <laughs> family. We're gonna check them every time. Canaanites, y'all gotta be aware of what he's doing. Okay. But look, uh, what am I doing? What no, am I doing? No, there? No, no. Setting doing? it up. He's setting up to <laughs> to knock you out. Okay. But I will, I will say this uh, on go a ahead. serious note. Um, when I said my hustle, everybody, you will say passive income. Uh, for investments and all of those things. Now, shout out to all my people that uh, cut grass, men and women and everything, especially down in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, D, you know who I'm talking about because he employed me. That was awesome. Awesome time. But I'm not talking about just anything that's going up under the table. I'm talking about doing things the right way, Kane, first of all. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, and then it's so many different ways, okay, for you to get a job. It's so many people that's hiring, okay? What that looks like would be 45, 46, and working at Amazon, working at a fast food place. You do what you have to do, okay? We're not talking about anything illegal. You said that. But... You do what you have to do, and then you get off of the assistance because you don't want to be there. You don't want that to define your life. Now, some people do get lazy. We know that, Kane. We can't allow that to happen because then it goes into generation. Okay, my cousin, 
my auntie. Mm -hmm. Still on food stamps. Oh, I don't want to report this. I can't take this job. I got to cut my hours. We all know this. But do you want to live like that? We want to do better, right? That's what we want to do. Okay. All right. Well, it's easy to do. All right. Well, well, like I said, like I've been saying, man, holding people accountable, no matter what, if it's the government that's helping out, even if it's the family member that's helping out, so even if the family say, Hey, come on in and, um, you can stay, uh, stay with me for 90 days. And what's the motivation? Wait, wait, stay wait. accountable. Stay accountable. That's the uncomfortable. Self truth. accountability. And it's, it's two to zero, baby. Let's go. Oh, you got me. They'll put it in the comments. It was two, it was two one. Okay. Two one. I ain't do but two questions. But you got your butt kicked two times. On on both of the questions? No, no. I took it light on you. Okay, let's go. It's a new day in time. <laughs> <laughs> Spin it again, then go. Ahead. Oh. <laughs> You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 